and welcome to our lesson on using a balance method to solve a one-step equation. So we have the equation 12 plus h is equal to 19. We're going to use what's called the balance method and this means to keep the equation perfectly balanced as we solve it. So whatever operation we apply to the left hand side we will apply to the right hand side. In this way the equation remains balanced. Because we want h on the left on the left hand side, we're going to take away the 12 from both sides. So we have 12, take away 12 plus h is equal to 19, take away 12. 12 take away 12 is 0, so we are left with h is equal to 19 take away 12, which is 7. And we can check that this works by substituting h is equal to 7 back into the equation. 12 plus 7 is equal to 19, and that works. So h is equal to 7. For question b, we have g minus 12 is equal to 8. I'm going to draw a vertical line through the equal sign. And to solve it means I want to work out the value of g. So I need to make this negative 12 equal to 0. So it is off the left hand side. So I'm going to add 12 this time to both sides. And we have g take away 12 plus 12 is equal to 8 plus 12. You can see the negative 12 add 12 will make 0. So we're left with g which is equal to 8 and 12, which is equal to 20. We can check this work by substituting it back into the equation. So g is equal to 20. 20 minus 12 does equal to 8. So we know g is equal to 20. OK, let's try question C. So we have 6r is equal to 42. In algebra, we don't include the multiplication sign, so this actually means 6 multiplied by r is equal to 42. And we don't want 6 r's, we only want r. So we're going to draw a vertical line down, and we need to make the 6 r into 1 r. We do this by dividing it by itself. So we have 6 divided by 6, which is 1. So r will equal 42 divided by 6, which is 7. And again, we can check this works. We have 6 times r, which is 7, and that does equal to 42. So r is equal to 7. And for question d, we have b divided by 5 is equal to 12. And this does mean a division of 5. So we're going to do the opposite of dividing by 5. We're going to times both sides by 5. 5 divided by 5 will cancel. So we have b is equal to 12 times 5, which is 60. And we can check this works by putting the 60 back into the equation. 60 divided by 5 is equal to 12. So b is equal to 60. OK, let's try some more questions. So do you want to try these questions yourself? By pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. OK, for question A, I'm going to draw a vertical line. I want a single value for x. So I do the opposite of adding 9. I take away 9 from both sides. 9 take away 9 will cancel to make 0. So I'm left with x is equal to 6. For question B, I want a single value of D. I'm going to do the opposite of take away 7, which is add 7 to both sides. 7 take away 7 will make 0. So I'm left with D is equal to 12 add 7, which is 19. For question C, we have 8U is equal to 24. I'm going to rewrite this as 8 times u is equal to 24. 
the opposite of times 8 is divide 8. So I'll divide both sides by the 8. 8 divided by 8 will cancel to make 1. So u is equal to 24 divided by 8, which is 3. For question D, I'm going to rewrite this as u divided by 12 is equal to 2. The opposite of divide by 12 is times by 12. So divide 12 and the times 12 will cancel to make 1. So u is equal to 2 times 12, which is 24. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.